Welcome to the Kilgray online tutorial. MemoQ getting started for translators. In the first module of this series, we will look at how to set up a new project in MemoQ. Each module will take between 10 and 15 minutes to go through. At the end, there will be three questions to test your understanding of the topics that were covered. Before you can start translating in MemoQ, you need to set up a project. You need to tell the system the project name and where you want to save the project, the path to the documents you want to translate, which translation memory or memories you want to use, and if you want to use a term base or term bases as well. This presentation will show you how to do the following. Create a project, enter the project settings, Add your documents to the project. Create or select the translation memories. Create or select the term bases. And how to navigate within a project. There are several ways to start the wizard that helps you to set up a new project. You can go to the MemoQ application menu, select New Project, and then on the right side, under New Project Without Template, click on New Project. Or you can click on New Project in the Project Ribbon tab. Alternatively, you can go to the Frequent Tasks area and use the link to create a new project without a template. After clicking on New Project, the New Project Wizard opens. First, you need to enter general project information, like the name of the project and the language pair. The fields Project, Client, Domain and Subject are very useful if you want to add information to your translations. Each translation will be saved with the information you enter here. MemoQ will create a folder for this project. The folder will have the name you entered at the top of this dialog. By using the button with the three dots, you can choose the place on your computer where this project folder should be saved. The username is usually your login name on this computer. If you want to use something else, feel free to change the username here. This information will also be saved with each translation. To add documents for translation, click on the import link, browse to the documents, Select them and open them. This will start the import into the MemoQ project. During this import, MemoQ extracts the translatable text from the documents and splits up the text into segments. Where a segment can be a whole sentence, a part of a sentence or maybe just a heading consisting of two words. At the same time, MemoQ will also create a preview of the original document, if the file format is supported for previews. This is the case for Office documents and HTML, as well as XML with style sheets. After the documents have been imported, you will see the import path, which is the path to the original document, and the export path, which is the path that will be used once the document is translated and exported from MemoQ. By default, MemoQ will export the translated document to the same folder as the original document, and add the language ID of the target language of your project. If you do not like this default, you could also export the document to another place or with another name via the export with dialog function from within your project. The translation memories window will show any available translation memory for the language pair you chose for your project. If there is no translation memory, or if you want to create a new, empty one, click on the Create Use New link. First, enter a name for the new translation memory. There are already some default settings checked, which are quite useful. For example, Simple Context means that for each segment that is saved to the translation memory, also the segment before and after is saved as well. This helps MemoQ to do better matching on segments because it can now take the context into account when looking for translation suggestions. 
Allow Reverse Lookup is another useful setting as it allows you to use the translation memory in both language directions for looking up translation suggestions. And in addition to the settings on the first screen of this wizard, where you could add project numbers or client names, here you can also add the name of the document to each segment that you save to the translation memory with the Store Document Name option. The translation memory that you create or activate as the first in the list will have the value Working Master in the Type column. Working means that this database is the one that you will use to save your translations into when confirming segments during translation or review. Any other translation memory that is also activated will be used for searching matches only and thus serve as reference translation memories. There can only be one translation memory marked as working. If you want to use another translation memory as working translation memory, right click the name and select the option set as working. It will then appear as the first translation memory in the list. Master translation memories are translation memories that will be updated by the confirm and update row operation. For example, once the project is finished and delivered. The term base window will show any available term bases for the languages you have chosen for your project. If there is no term base or if you want to create a new empty one, click on the create use new link. Enter a name for the new term base. The languages you chose in the project setup have already been activated. More languages can be added now or later to the term base. From the language list you can see that, in contrast to translation memories, which are always bilingual, a term base can be multilingual. There can be several term bases activated in the project. The term base that you chose first will have the rank 1. This means that this database is the one to be searched first and the one you will use to save your terms into. Any other term base that is also activated will be used for searching terms only. By raising or lowering the rank using the links below, you can define the order in which term bases will be searched. If you want to use another term base as target for new terms, Right click the name and select the option Set as target for new terms or use the link below the list. It will then be displayed in bold in the list. With this last setting, the project setup has finished. The project you just created will be opened and will display the project home screen. This is the main navigation area for everything that you want to do in your project. In the translations area, you can open documents for translation, add new documents to the project or delete documents and export your translations. In the translation memories and term bases areas, you can add translation memories and term bases, edit them or remove them from the project. In the Live Docs area, you can for example run alignments with previous translations that should be referenced during translation of the new documents. In the Muses area, you can create and fill databases with fragment pairs extracted from TMs and alignments. These fragment pairs are then used for the predictive typing feature. In the Settings area, you can change the settings of your project and activate resources like checking features or lists with the terms that should not be translated, and so on. To get started with your translation, go to the Translations area, select the document you want to translate in the list and double-click the document name. The document will then be opened in the Translation Editor. This concludes the setup of a MemoQ project. The next modules in this series will show you how to translate a document and how to calculate word counts. On the next slide, we will ask you some questions that will help you to test your knowledge on setting up a MemoQ project. Here comes the quiz. First question. Can you change the name of a project, translation memory or term base within MemoQ once it has been created? 
The possible answers are yes, no, or only while MemoQ is still open. The correct answer is yes, the names of databases and the project name can be changed after setup. Second question. What does the indication primary working mean when you see it beside the name of a term base or translation memory? The possible answers are This is the largest database I have in MemoQ. This is the smallest database I have in MemoQ. Or This is the database that is used to save translations during translation. The correct answer is This is the database that is used to save translations. Third question. Is there a limit to the number of databases you can use in a project? The possible answers are Yes, I can only use one term base and one translation memory. Yes, I can only use five translation memories and one term base. Or No, I can use as many as I like. The correct answer is No, I can use as many as I like, although in reality you would probably not use more than maybe three or four different translation memories in your project and maybe one or two term bases. Thank you for watching this tutorial. To get an overview over the functionalities in the translation editor, please take a look at modules 2 and 3. This tutorial was created with MemoQ 2015. The tutorial was created by Loctimize for Kilgrade Translation Technologies.